this box is so heavy. Oh gosh, okay. I have another Japan haul for you. Let's unbox some things. I have a big box of things that I have purchased from Japan. All of these were merchandise items that were available in Japan over the several last previous months. I tend to get a whole bunch of small boxes and then grab everything and put it all together in a big video for you. So here is a haul video. I hope you enjoy it. A lot of these items are only available through the Pretty Guardian fan club in Japan. Uh, they do sell different merchandise, whether you have the Japanese fan club versus the international fan club. A lot of these were also released at the Sailor Moon store. So I do have a Japanese address, so I can order items from the Sailor Moon store online and have those shipped over here to the USA. Let's go ahead and get started uh, with this mystery box that I have here. I think this might be a planner. Now, even though I'm unboxing this planner a little late for this year, I still like to use these because you can remove the inner notebook for the specific year that it was released and you can reuse these. These do tend to be very, very beautiful and I really like to collect them every year because they always have different aesthetics and different vibes on the front on the outer shell. So this one came with a whole bunch of really cute little miniature stickers. So here we have stickers of all of the Sailor Guardians. And here is our Kaleido Moon Scope. It says Sailor Moon at the bottom, the pretty guardian in a sailor suit. Guardian of love and justice, super Sailor Moon. Very cute. So you can tell that this inner notepad part is definitely something that you can get rid of or you can store after you use it and then you can put a new one in here if you get one of a similar size. So this is for the 2023 schedule book. There are full annual calendars on the inside and then we have each calendar date for December 2022 all the way through 2023. This also goes into 2024 if you want to continue to use it during that time. There is also a separate weekly calendar that you can use for planning and scheduling. This is really cute. I love the chibi art and I like that there's so much versatility to using these schedule books. However, I tend to not use them. I prefer to just use like a Google calendar for everything for my job, but I do like to collect them. To go along with this theme of calendars, I also have this desk calendar. So this one does come with a stand so you can stand it up and put it on your desk. This is a 2023 calendar as well. And this one is paper, it's made out of paper, but it has new art by Naoko Takeuchi, which was also featured at the Sailor Moon Museum in 2022. So I did get to see this up on display. Here we have Usagi, Chibiusa, that's cute for Valentine's. Chibi Chibi is included and I love that art. That's so cute. Sailor Mercury, Amy, Makoto, Chibiusa. We have Saturn here, that's really beautiful. The Firefly, perfect for her. Venus and Mars. Then we have Usagi again. Oh, for Halloween. Michu and Haruka, that's so cute. And then Setsuna and Amy are featured in November. And Chibi Chibi for Christmas, Oh, That's really adorable, this is cute. Here's another box, a mystery box, if you will. Oh, that has a Q-Pot item in it. Okay, this is a freebie item from Q-Pot. Q-Pot does a, usually an annual collaboration with Sailor Moon. So this is a cute little acrylic light up display product that Q-Pot sent out for free if you spent a specific amount of money with the collaboration, which apparently I did. I don't know what this does. Oh, it just lights up. Okay. So this just lights up into one color. Uh, it does have an on and off switch on the cable. That's nice. So you can turn it on and off and it is USB. There is no plug on the back of it, so it is proprietary. So you do have to be careful about that plug, but it is USB 2.0. Now, since it has holes in it, I believe you can use this to hang things from, like hang earrings, for example. That'd be cute. I do have a couple of Q-Posket items from the previous collaboration in here, so I will definitely show you those once I get down there. So this item, I don't exactly remember when this came out, but this is really pretty and it kind of reminds me, if you watch Cardcaptor Sakura, this reminds me of the Clo Card book, the Clo book. It's so similar, it's so cute. So this says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal on the back. 
Moon Crisis makeup on the front, very, very pretty pink foil, would look great displayed. And on the inside, are these postcards? Yeah, we have a series of postcards. So each postcard features eternal Sailor Guardians. We have Sailor Moon, Chibi Moon, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Sailor Saturn. There you go. That's all of them. Such a cute little storage book. Now I will probably remove the postcards, put them in my postcard photo album, and then take out this piece of cardboard and use this for storage for other items. I also like that it has this 30th anniversary print on the inside and it is a magnetic closure, so it shouldn't come open if you don't want it to. Really cute. I may already have these clear files in my collection, so I'm definitely gonna have to check. And if I do, I'll resell any duplicates. But this is a very cute musical festival clear file. Then we have one that shows all the silhouettes of all the actors. And we have one at the back that features this beautiful manga illustration by Naoko. Really pretty. And this is a newer illustration too. This is a much more recent version. Very, very beautiful. And I also snagged this, which is a stamp collection. I believe this was a collaboration with the Japanese postal system. So on the inside we have, it looks like a letter. I don't know who that's from, I'll have to check. Here's some beautiful illustrations from the anime. These almost look like Genga artwork. This looks like a Q&A session, but this is a stamp collection. So this is a beautiful illustration of the profiles for the Sailor Guardians. And then down here are the stamps. You can tell that these are legitimate stamps. They do come off if you wanted to use them but I am going to leave them in here as a little piece of my collection. That's really cool. Here we have, this is another storage book. So this is made out of like very thick cardstock. We have a foil print on the front with Sailor Moon. This is the 30th anniversary promotional material that you will see on a lot of the collection from the past year. Here it says Sailor Moon, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon 30th anniversary on the back, and it looks like a book. So magnetic closure, but you can open this and you can store things in it. It doesn't come with anything on the inside, but it's just a simple little storage book, but it's a very nice thick cardstock. So I feel like I could actually use this. This is the 2023 Ema or Emma board that was released for New Year's. A new one comes out every single year. So I do collect these. Okay, let's talk about this musical. So while we did not get to go to the musical, if we were here in America, I was able to collect some of the merchandise from the musical, like those clear files that I showed you. I also got this bracelet. So this bracelet lights up. It has all of the planetary symbols on it and it has this little button so you can turn it on or off. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. That's really neat. Now, does it come undone? Yes, it does. Okay. So if you need to pull it out, you can so that you can remove it and put it on. Um, I have a small wrist. There we go. <laughs> it fits. That's cool. So oftentimes if you go to concerts in Japan, you'll get like light up items like this that you can like play with during the concert. That's neat. Very cute. I really like these charms. So these are keychains. These are key charms. Uh, these were released at the Sailor Moon store. I believe that I got both of these through the online store. They're really, they're quite heavy. They've got very, very pretty sparkly images on the front of them. Lots of gemstones, even little teeny tiny gemstones around the edges. So both of them look really good. I'm quite impressed by these. These were 16.50 yen each, maybe like 13, 14 bucks, maybe less than that. Not too bad, not too shabby. I also picked up this 30th anniversary series IC card holder. So in Japan, you often use a Pasmo card or a Suica card in order to pay for things at 7-Elevens, pay for your train tickets. You can use it all over the place. And they release IC card holders all over the place, like depending on whatever your fandom is. So this one comes with multiple different little like trading cards that you can slip in here to kind of cover up your IC card, but you can still scan this anywhere that you can use your cards. Wait a minute, are these stickers? That feels like a sticker. Oh, it is, 
It's a sticker, y'all. Okay, so we have Chibiusa, Uranus. This is the outer one, Pluto, Saturn, Neptune. There you go. I don't think I'm gonna use these as stickers. I think I'm just gonna put them in here and then put my, my Suica card behind it. That's cute though. There we go. There you go, there's Pluto. Lovely. I like this little card holder. This is useful. I like useful things. This is a pretty Guardians fan club membership item. Not for sale. Basically, if you sign up for the annual membership, you get a little bonus item, and this is the bonus item. So it is a moon stick. This, it almost looks like Swarovski crystals, but I don't think they are. But this is a very, very pretty bracelet. I think it's a bracelet. That's very beautiful. Now, I love collecting these adorable little Otedamas. Tsum So here we have Otedamas of Luna and Artemis. These are very blinged out versions. They look like little sushi rolls and I just love that. All of them are so, so cute. I just can't stop myself so I collect all of them. Then we have pastel versions of the inner Sailor Guardians. Venus, Jupiter, and Mercury there. Oh, they're so cute. And Mars and Moon. I like the sparkly bows. Oh, these are adorable. I can't wait to put them with the rest of mine. I have a lot of items down here, <laughs> but they're also cute. I can't stop myself. So from Qpot, they always release their items in these really beautiful little display boxes. So here's a jewelry box from Qpot for last year, the 30th anniversary. These are big, very, very big, like big fashion type of jewelry. If you're not into that, if you prefer delicate things, then this probably would not be for you. This one is really cool. It has this image of Sailor Moon on the inside of this moon chalice. You can kind of see her silhouette inside of there. The red is very metallic and it's two-sided. Lots of glitter in there. I love the Q-Pot jewelry. I don't really wear it, but I use it for display because they always look so cool. Oh, I'm so happy I have this one now. What? Oh, oh my God, I thought it broke. <laughs> It's supposed to do that, refine. <laughs> I thought it broke for a second. I was like, oh no, I've never had a piece of Q-Posket jewelry break. So I was really worried for a second there. Okay, so here we have, there we have Pegasus on the inside of this piece of jewelry. This one is also very sparkly. There's some glitter in there and it does have this magnetic base. So you can remove that base and just wear this piece as a necklace if you prefer. However, I will probably just display it in my collection room with all of my other Q-Posket jewelry. I keep on saying Q-Posket, it's Q-Pot. Oh my goodness, I know these things. May all your dreams shine forever. Oh, that's really cute. So I mentioned this previously in another Sailor Moon store online order haul. Whenever you order acrylic stands, I tend to get X amount of stands to equal that set. So if it's a set of eight, but they're all blind bags, I will order eight. And chances are you will get all of the different ones. Sometimes I get duplicates, but for the most part, I've been able to collect each one whenever I order them as a group. And I think maybe the Sailor Moon store online is just assuming that you want all the separate ones. So they'd probably divvy them up correctly, but for what it's worth, I have had a lot of luck ordering them online. So these ones were released at the Sailor Moon store. Here we have a whole bunch of really cute casual wear for the Sailor Guardians. So we have Makoto here, Minako, Usagi. She just went shopping at the Sailor Moon store. I can relate, but my bag is always like three times larger. Ray, Chibiusa, and Amy. Y'all probably remember that I got the Ray one from this really, really nice girl in Japan. I also picked up these 30th anniversary versions of all of the Sailor Guardians with acrylic stands. I really like the planets. I love that they put each of them on their planets or in Sailor Moon's case on the moon. They just look really cool. So here is Sailor Pluto. Of course we have moon. Whoop, she's upside down. Here's Saturn, Mercury, Mars, Sailor Venus, and Jupiter, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Chibi Moon, and Sailor Uranus. 
All of them look really, really nice. And again, I love the planets. These are very big acrylic stands. Well worth the price. Some other items that I got with the musical. This is a postcard set that came with some Blu-rays I ordered on the Pretty Guardian Fan Club website. These are all manga pieces of art, very pretty illustrations. And these are classic illustrations that you can find in the art books and on the front covers of the manga. And this is the Blu-ray set that I wanted to purchase through the Pretty Guardian fan club. So each of these features a different musical. I don't have any of these musicals on DVD or Blu-ray, so I figured this was a really nice, inexpensive way to collect all of the most recent musicals. I have not watched any of these yet, but I'm very excited to. I think I'll just use Google Translate while I'm watching to auto-translate everything that's happening on stage. So here we have six different ones that are included. This is a character sheet and book about each of the musicals that comes in this set. And then we have some posters at the back. Ooh, these are cool. Shining Moon to Tokyo and Sailor Moon Live, awesome. So in here we get, let's see, Le La Reconquista. I'm so bad at saying these. Petite Stranger, Petite, nah. you know what? I am really bad at pronouncing each of these, so I'm not even going to, but here's the first one. Here's the first musical, the second one. <laughs> That's how I'm going to explain them. Here's the third one. The fourth musical, A More Eternal. Yeah, I can say that one. Back here we have, oh, is there not one included there? Le Mouvement Finale, I know. Kaguya Hime's Beloved. Ooh, and this one has the Super Live and it has Shining Moon Tokyo on it. Oh, that's cool. I went to the Super Live in Washington, DC and it was amazing, so that's cool. I'm glad that I have this on disc now. This is a great set. I didn't even realize that these two came with it, so that's like a really nice bonus. I'm super excited about those. Very cool. I can't wait to watch these. All right, I have a couple of posters here. One of these posters sold out real fast, so it was hard to find. The other one was still available when I went to visit Japan in December, so I was able to see this in stock in person. Both of them are very pretty. These are kind of a plasticky material, as you can see on my top-down camera. And when I fold this out, so I don't want to bend it, but I do have a poster collection that I can put this with. It's kind of see-through, but this features all of the outer and the inner guardians all together for the 30th anniversary. It's really pretty, very shiny, kind of metallic-y in a sense, and really cool art. So this is the one that sold out, but I'm so happy to have it. Now this one was still available when I went to Japan in December, so it was relatively easy to collect at least this version. Now this one features, it's that same 30th anniversary art that we saw previously, but it's in a poster version. And this one is also quite plasticky as well. I believe I might have shown you these previously, but I did end up scoring a second one. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing of all of my newer Sailor Moon dolls that I have duplicates of so that you can kind of see exactly what they look like out of the box. But that way I can keep one in storage as well. There have been several new style dolls that have come out in recent years, including this one, a couple of princesses, and the inner guardians too. So I'm really excited that this generation of fans has some relatively inexpensive dolls that you can collect. I'm not going to be taking these out of the box because they are so annoying to put together. <laughs> I did a whole video about putting these together. These are the Figu Arts Minis. The newest ones in this line were Princess Serenity and Demion and Eternal Sailor Moon when these came in. I believe I picked up extras of these in Japan, so I'm going to check and see if I have duplicates. But all of them are very, very cute. I'm really happy with this collection. I think that they look very adorable and they're super fun to display, but they are very complicated to put together. They kind of hurt your fingers if you put them all together at once. So given they take a while to put together, I am going to be leaving those in the box for now. But the last item for today, I am unboxing this Glitter and Glamours Sailor Moon. This is the Super Sailor Moon and she does have her Kaleida Moon Scope. 
Glitter and Glamours are usually available through Crane Games and they are very inexpensive to collect. So it's a really easy way to get into figure collection without spending a whole bunch of money. You do have to assemble your Glitter and Glamours characters, but the assembly is always really easy. Okay, so to assemble this Glitter and Glamour, she has a bow on the back, which goes right there. And then she has her hand, which faces this way. Let's see if I can get it in there. I'm trying not to break it and I'm trying not to break a nail, but I'm really having to shove her arm in there so that it stays in place. She's got a flaw right there. I might have to try to fix that with magic eraser or something. It's weird that her arm is set kind of backwards. Like, yes, you can position your arm like that physically, but it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird placement. These are pretty tough to get into place so keep that in mind when you're putting her together luckily i don't think you'll break your character if you do have to get kind of tough with it to slide the odongos into place her pigtails as well as her arm you should be okay there we go all right so other than that flaw she looks pretty good we've got some cute print on her face the coletta moon scope is a little bit transparent that looks really cool looks really neat there are two versions of this character, but both of them have the same stance. They just have different colors. There's metallic gold foil paint going into her compact. And then of course down here at her the crescent moon on her boots. I like the shiny paint used on her boots. It looks really good. And the bow is also very shiny. They always come with these cheap looking little stands, but the stands do work, so I'm not too worried about them. This stand, I believe, is going to go on her back foot, like so. There you go. Okay. Oh, she's trying to fall over. There you go. She's ready. <laughs> she's ready for a fight. Oh, she's cute. I like her. Well, I have a lot of items up here. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and this little haul video of things I got from Japan. If you have questions about anything, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for joining. Feel free to check out these videos if you want more Sailor Moon content, and I'll see you next time. Johnny.